So I built a little tandem bike out of these 16 inch bikes for my kids or grandkids and I filmed it with my new camera and I was experimenting with time lapse and it just came out so bad that I never posted a video. But anyway, I just recently did an addition to it so I'm going back and showing what I have. First I took these three bikes, all of which came from a trash pile and kind of moved them around until I decided which bike I wanted to use for what and I decided that the purple bike was going to be in the back and the black bike was going to be in the front. So for the purple bike the front forks come off and for the black bike I took off the crank set um, which I'm not sure that I had to do that but it makes welding easier and then I cut off the rear stays that where the rear wheel used to go and it's a weird frame it's not made out of tubes it's made out of this I don't know formed a metal it's kind of cool actually so I put some blue tape on there so I could see my sharpie lines and I cut it and then I went back and forth a few times until I got a decent fit um, and then I marked on the purple bike where it was going to go and sanded off the paint so I could get a better weld and I used my TIG torch and brazen rods and I brazed these frames together because the metal is so thin it is very difficult to weld without burning it up so it's all brazed together um, plenty strong enough my wife happened to be there at the same time using the blasting cabinet to uh, work on a patina um, when I got it all welded together then I flipped it upside down and I added another tube um, to structurally tie them the bottom together so it came from another bike it's another super thin metal thin wall tube grind it off the paint um, braze it into position and then the two frames were together and they were they're pretty strong they're plenty strong enough there's no magic way to get these tubes to uh, fit perfectly with all the different weird angles and shapes you just um, I just use a, a flap disc on a grinder and just uh, trial and error, go back and forth. I don't want to get it too short, but I keep going back and forth until the fit is good. And then it was welded into place. So this part, this cutting and fitting and welding, this is really the easy part. The tricky part for me was getting the chain to work. Um, you can't really use a single chain from front all the way to back because there's nothing to keep the chain on the middle sprocket. So I was lucky I had a um, old 15 speed um, crank set. I took it apart and I wanted the middle sprocket because it's roughly the same size as the sprocket on the back bike. Um, I kind of mangled it up getting it apart because I didn't know what I was doing. But I got that sprocket free and I took the sprocket off the purple bike, the back bike, and I put couple of little spacers and I welded them together so I have two sprockets side by side now the chain from the front um, crank set goes to the inside um, sprocket and then the the outside sprocket is back to the normal bike and that works good except there's no way to tighten the chain because you can't slide the two sprockets further apart like you slide the back wheel to tighten up the chain so I went to a bike shop and asked for if they had a damaged derailleur and the guy had one in his hand and handed it right to me and I screwed that derailleur to the side of the blue tube and I'm using the spring in the derailleur to keep the um, chain uh, sort of tight it works pretty good it falls off kind of now and then but the kids know how to get it right back on so it's no big deal so the tandem is built and I told you the video was no good um, but that's all I have. So it's been real popular. Everybody likes it. The kids ride it all the time. But the problem we have with it now is when my two sons are over and they come over a lot because they're both kind of local. Um, that makes three kids that are of bike riding age and it only sits two people. So in order to prevent further meltdowns of somebody getting their feelings hurt, I thought maybe I would try to add another bike on the back and that's why I'm doing this video. So I'm going to do one of these tandem deals where people just stick the front forks of the back bike on the back axle of the front bike. Um, they never work well. 
Uh, but in this case, since <clears throat> um, Willie's so much lighter than Molly and Molly drives and his bike is so much shorter and the um, tandem has a long wheelbase, I think it's going to be okay. Um, the front forks of the gold bike was, or they're too close together. They won't straddle the uh, back stays of the tan back of the tandem. So I cut off these little brackets and cleaned them up. And when I fit them back further apart, they did okay. Another main problem with these types of tandems is that typically people bolt these forks to the back axle of the front bike and it's just a safety hazard to me because it's going to swivel it's going to go up and down the back wheel of the third bike and the other two wheels are never going to be in a straight line there's always going to be going uphill or downhill which means this joint works um, which means I don't know how anybody can keep the um, axle nuts tight if this is pivoting and if the axle nuts come loose um, you know, either the chain's going to get loose because the rear wheel's going to slide forward, or worst case scenario is the forks jump off the axle and you have a kid face planted on the road, and I didn't want that. So I'm making a little bit of a change. Um, I've closed the, the bottoms of these, um, like little U brackets. I made them circular well in a washer so it can't jump off the bolt. And I'm not bolting mine to the rear axle. I drilled a separate hole. I'm putting a separate uh, pair of bolts with locking nuts so I can get them snug, but not really, really tight. And between those bolts being separate from the axle and they're able to move where the axle can be tight and having the bottom of this uh, horseshoe thing closed in, there's no way that the forks on this um, are going to fall off, and that's what I wanted. Oh, look at this! Hey, Willie. Oh, so, like I was kind of talking about, it is a little <laughs> squirrely. If Willie leans, he kind of makes everybody go uh, like a snake, but it's manageable. And uh, they're riding it. You can. Spider-Man never gets left behind, so all is well with Luke household. Car coming. <laughs>